Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to another tutorial. We're continuing on with the dynamic weather script. Now, before we get around to filling out these functions, I just want to get the variables we'll be using in place up the top here. It'll just make things easy when we come around to actually filling these functions out. So, let's get them in place in this lesson. And I'm just going to put mine here. And the first one is going to be of type public float. And we'll call this underscore audio fade time. And I'm going to make this equal to 0.25f. And I'm going to close the line off there. Right, the next ones are going to be of type public. And this time of audio clip. And the first one I'll call sunny audio. And we'll close the line off. And we can just keep going for each one of the states we have. So the next one will be thunderstorm audio. And again, we'll just keep going. Audio clip for our mist audio. And the last two for overcast and the final one for our snow and we'll close the line off there so as you can see we're going to have a different audio clip for each one of our states apart from pick weather for obvious reasons and we're also at a later date going to work out a way for those audio to actually fade out when the weather state changes so it will give a more natural sound to the audio so let's put this into comments now and we'll for the first one for audio fade time we'll say defines rate for audio fade and what I'll do for the next ones I'll just copy this part of the comment here and I'll paste it in here so create slot in inspector to assign our sunny audio clip and what we can do we'll copy the whole comment again and we'll just paste it in for the others and then we'll just swap it out so two more times and the final one and there we go so we'll just go through and we'll just change it so there's thunder mist overcast and finally snow And I'll come here. Now something else we're actually going to do within these functions. So apart from activating the appropriate particle system and playing the correct audio clip, I also want the directional light to dim. So obviously when it's sunny I want it bright. When it's overcast I want it quite dim. And there's going to be... Uh, somewhere in between for the other states. So let's get these into place now. And these are all going to be of type public floats. Now the first one we'll call light dim time. And I'm going to make this equal to 0.1f and we'll close the line out and we'll put it into comments. So it says defines our rate for light dimming so when the weather state changes it won't automatically switch so if we've got a fairly low one let's say for thunderstorm and a bright one for sunny if it swaps from thunder to sun the light will increase slowly and we'll use this variable in order to do that at a later date within the functions 
again creating a more natural look and feel to our weather state and now we need just to define some more public floats so the first one is going to be minimum intensity and I'm going to make this equal to 0F and I'll close the line off public float and I'm sure you've guessed this one's going to be of type maximum intensity and I'm going to make this equal to 1F we'll close the line off and we'll keep going and we'll say mist intensity we'll make this equal to 0.5F and the next one for overcast intensity and we're going to make this equal to 0.25F public float and we'll call this one snow intensity and we'll make this equal to 0.75F so we have a public float for minimum and maximum and we also have the ones for the ones in between so for thunderstorm it's going to go really dark for sunny it's going to go really bright and then we have them defined for the others. Now you can do this either way. You could swap these out for minimum and just call this thunder. And this one sunny intensity. So I've just done it like this. We'll go through different ways of writing it as we complete these functions down here. But um, I've used these values. Now these are going to be fairly dramatic values. And I've done this so when we actually come around to testing the script out you can see very clearly the difference it's going to make now to get a more subtle look which I'm guessing probably most of you will, will want you will need to experiment with these values these are just for demonstration purposes so uh, I encourage you please you know experiment with these values and we'll just put these into the comments so we'll say defines our min light intensity we'll just copy that and we'll paste it in here and we'll just change it to max and again we'll paste it in here and we'll just change that to mist and we'll just copy it twice more for the other two and then we'll just go through and swap it out again for overcast and finally for snow and we can actually just save this script off here and we're actually going to leave it here for this lesson so we have now all our variables in place so in the com coming lessons we can just concentrate now on filling out these functions down here and hopefully before long we should have a fully working dynamic weather script so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope to see you next time and until then bye for now